A mother reunited with her biological son after 42 years apart. Jimmy Lippert Thiden has traveled all the way from the United States to Santiago for this very moment. He is just one of the thousands of children who were trafficked during Augusto Pinochet's regime. Thanks to the NGO Nos Buscamos, Thiden discovered that his adoption was falsified and that his biological family had not consented to the move. She responds to all of these texts. She says, Mijo, you have no idea the oceans I've cried for you. How many nights I've laid awake praying that God let me live long enough to learn what happened to you. Through painstaking research, Nos Buscamos discovered that he was born in a hospital in Santiago. His mother was told he had died and his body had been disposed of. A DNA test confirmed he was 100% Chilean and helped connect him with his first cousin and subsequently his mother. Constanza del Rio, founder of the NGO, says that over the last nine years they have overseen over 450 reunions between adoptees and their biological families. This is what's not for saving them from poorness or saving them from starving or whatever. That was the movie they present. But the, the, the real story was that where these kids were stolen from poor families, poor women that didn't know how, didn't know how to defend themselves. During Pinochet's 17-year reign, child trafficking was just one of the many human rights violations that took place in Chile. According to government figures, thousands of people were killed during the dictatorship, with tens of thousands more tortured or imprisoned.